Hi guys, good evening. So I've got a oh a dozen little top sirloin steaks here. Got them for a real good price, about uh, four dollars a pound, and I'll talk to that later. But uh, I've given them a good dry rub with uh, Montreal steak seasoning, and I've got some apple chips going in my little gas grill here, and I've got them turned all the way down so that I cook these steaks as low and slow as I can and we're going to put them on here and cook them nice and slow and see how we do and then I'll show you what I do with them we're going to eat one of them tonight for supper but I'll show you what I do with the rest of them for uh, afterwards see how many I can fit on this uh, little bitty grill of mine. That's probably about it, half and half. So I'll have to cook half of them and then cook the other half later. Okay, I'll be back when they're done. Okay, so here are my steaks all done on the Barbie. Hopefully they got some good apple wood flavor from that, those wood chips. And uh, like I say, we're going to have one of them for supper tonight. We'll split it. And uh, they're pretty small. But we'll have a baker and some veggies and stuff. And then uh, tomorrow I'll show you what I'm going to do with the rest of it. Okay, so... I didn't get any pictures of these in the trays, but... Here is uh, two trays. I don't have a tray right here. I'll show you a picture of one. Of my sirloin steak. Sliced thin and uh, freeze dried in our Harbor Strike home freeze dryer. And I'm taking these and I'm going to put them in uh, mylar bags with oxygen absorbers and vacuum seal them in there. And <clears throat> this meat will be good for 20 years with no refrigeration. That's a prep. <clears throat> I'll keep a couple pieces out. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what it looks like. Rehydrated. But we did we did taste one. We had one for supper last night. And uh, it was yummy. Sorry about that. I had to shift my arm. Um, so this will make... Uh, I'm going to put these in my... Uh, Mylar MREs, and I should get, oh, I don't know, six or seven of them out of it. And uh, we'll mix them with some other stuff. Um, I'll show you some of the other foods I've freeze-dried recently. I'm sitting here, I'm going to spend about an hour packing stuff up. Uh, I pull it off the trays and put it in Ziploc bags so it doesn't get any moisture to it. And then I've got a day or two before I can... I was waiting because... I just got today a hundred more Mylar bags, little quart size. So this is some applesauce. Oh, and it's yummy. And here are some uh, California veggie blend. There's carrots and um, broccoli and cauliflower in there. And here is a bag of, these were frozen carrot, uh, frozen green beans. And uh, these are freeze-dried. Uh, I should get some of this stuff out and show you as I go. If I can get one of these open with my with one hand. But they're, very, they're very dry. And my wife Michelle is yelling at the dogs in the other room probably hear that snap. They're dry as a bone and I'll uh, they're freeze-dried just like uh, the stuff you'd buy from Wise or Mountain House and I make my own Mylar MREs out of them. Okay here's a bag of uh, these are uh, southern style hash browns. That was a tray. This is a tray and uh, Oh, those come out really good. You can uh, rehydrate these and 
try them up and they're just yummy. Uh, these are uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I'll make up some chicken breast meals. And I've got some... Now these aren't cooked. I didn't cook these. I didn't cook the chicken breast either. Uh, uh, I just wanted to see how they'd come out. These are uh, frozen uh, chicken fried steak patties. And uh, I think I've got some more in there, so I'll cook them up and try them cooked. And uh, see how they come out that way. Because I can't pack these in my Mylar MREs. I've got to uh, pack them separately and then you'll ha they'll have to be uh, rehydrated and then cooked. So that's the kind of stuff I'm doing with it. And like I say, all this food, uh, it'll last at least 20 years. Some people are now saying 25 and 30. I'm going to go with 20 uh, without refrigeration if you pack them, uh, pack the food uh, properly in Mylar bags. These are 7 mil gusseted Mylar bags with the uh, uh, Ziploc tops, but they'll get sealed on the top with a heat seal and a 100 cc oxygen absorber in there and uh, that should last uh, 20 years and it outlasts home canned food by what four times because uh, the very best you could uh, expect home fit canned food to last is maybe three or four years before it starts degrading now when you home can food you lose half of the nutrition in the food right up front and this is uh, when I do uh, freeze-dried food in a freeze dryer 97 percent of the nutrients are still in that food and it rehydrates real well and it's easy to carry this is very light uh, so that was uh, see we had 12 and so we ate one so this is uh, about well I got a couple in my other bags already so let's call this uh, 10 steaks okay and let me zero this I need to clean that and okay come on zero up there we go. Ten steaks and it weighs 90 ounces or uh, 4.3 grams. Not 90 ounces, 9 ounces. So easy to pack in a bag, in a bug out bag or a home bag, and easy to store. We take these and uh, uh, stack them in uh, plastic totes so uh, the critters can't get in and they'll last a long time. As long as we don't, you, know, you got to keep the temperature reasonably cool, you know. Okay, you guys, so I've packed most of that applewood smoked sirloin in little mylar bags like this and we vacuum seal them. We have a chamber vacuum sealer. I'll do a video on it and do a review for you guys. Um, but uh, I weighed this one. It was four tenths of an ounce. So obviously you can see where if you're camping or hunting, that's for my friend Paul, or uh, <clears throat> you need something to throw in your bug out bag, or what have you this is really light and easy to carry I left uh, a few pieces out for a taste test for you doesn't do, doesn't do much good for me to do a taste test but uh, anyhow uh, I can tell you I've already tried it and it's yummy so here's how this works and it's really quite simple now remember that little bag the food in there the steak in there will be 
good to eat for over 20 years with no refrigeration. That's the miracle to this. And it's retained 97% of its nutritional value. So that's way and above home canning. Okay, so here's some little pieces of our steak. I'll put them in this bowl and then I've got some water from our uh, K-cup coffee machine. It makes hot water real easy and with very little uh, electricity. And for this I can just cover it. And I'm going to let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And you can see it's already, yeah, it's already uh, absorbing the hot water. Oh, that was hot on my fingers. Okay, I'll see you in about 10 minutes and we'll do a taste test. So it's been about 10 minutes. My sirloin is uh, fully rehydrated. There's a little color to the water, so it might have lost a little bit of its flavor. Um, sirloin isn't the most tender cut. It's not tenderloin by any example or New York strip. But it's not terribly expensive and I love the flavor of it. So we're going to give it a taste test now. Now this was freeze dried. This was the same thing as what was you saw it. What was in that bag there. Okay. Okay, yeah. Flavor's great. Um, I do get the smoke. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there is a little tiny bark line on here. Not fantastic, but it's pretty damn good for a $25 propane barbecue grill. So, mmm. Yeah, and it's a tiny bit chilly, uh, chilly, chewy. I suppose I could have uh, beat the heck out of it and tenderized it before I cooked it. I might have to do that with some more. Yep, I got all the smoky barbecue flavor still. I'm going to save that piece for the missus. And uh, there you have it. Well, I did, uh, I don't know, I suppose that was five or six pounds. That was 12 little steaks. We had the one before I freeze dried. And it's a good thing because that's a, acted as a control in my little experiment. And the flavor is exactly the same now as it was before I freeze dried, which is a great thing. Uh, we've got a Amish store not too far from us. We figured out uh, today I got to buy sirloin. They've got sirloin steak on special. You got to buy a 10 pound box, and it's $4.59 a pound. So, we're going to probably go and spend 46 bucks this week and buy 10 pounds of it. And then I'm going to talk the missus into buying me a cheap smoker. So, we'll be able to take that whole 10 pounds, put it in Mylar, and uh, then it'll be good for 20 years at $4.59 a pound. I right, expect inflation to take hold pretty bad in the near future. Grocery prices are going up now. Okay. I'll just let you look at my countertop for a minute. Well, the more meat I can freeze dry now. Ah, she's in there yelling at the dog. He's jumping on her. We have a 10-month-old uh, Dalmatian puppy. Anyhow, um, the more meat I can buy now at lower prices and freeze dry, the more we'll have later when it's 30 bucks a pound and it will get there. Okay, thought you might enjoy this video. <clears throat> we'll
one of the reasons we have a home freeze dryer. And we'll get through this. See you later.